Good morning everybody, welcome back. This is Jake from Outdoor Rushes. Today we're gonna to do a little fly tying here at the table. Didn't have time this week to get up north to uh, do a little fishing. So today we're gonna to teach you how to tie the semi-steel leech, which is by far the number one fish catching leech that I've ever fished with. So stay tuned and we'll get right into it. All right, when I'm tying flies, the first thing I do is actually prep a bunch of hooks. Um, we're using a Tiemco fly hook. Um, these are Nymph and Streamer hooks, 3XL, size 14. I like the smaller size on the semi-seals. I know a lot of people will throw bigger leeches, but these just seem to catch a lot more fish and a lot more different size fish. Uh, you can fish bluegill, bass, rainbow trout, crappie, pretty much anything that swims will eat one of these leeches. All right, the first thing we wanna do is actually prep our flies. So what I do is I take, you know, a dozen or so hooks and put beads on them. Um, that way they're ready to go. It keeps me honest, keeps my ADD from kicking in um, and me going off and trying to tie other flies or whatever. If I have, you know, a dozen hooks with beads on them, I'm gonna die, tie a dozen semi seal leeches. They might not all be the same color because I get bored, but I'm gonna tie a dozen of them up because I'm ready to go. All right, so we got a couple of them done up. I'm only gonna do a few for you know this fly tying demonstration. Usually I'd sit down and set up a dozen of them or more. That way, you know, I have them all ready to go. So the first thing you're gonna do is get your thread onto your hook and just wrap it back. You're gonna wrap it all the way to the back of the shank. And I'm gonna teach you the quick and easy way to tie these flies, um, just so you can get a bunch of them banged out and you don't gotta worry about it. You're not sitting here all day tying flies. Next, we're gonna take a medium copper wire, um, cut a length of this off, cut a length off that you think you're gonna get quite a few flies off of so you don't have to keep doing that. So we're just gonna cut a length of that off, get that down here, and we're gonna tie that in to the hook shank, right at the end of it. Wrap it back all the way to that bend of that hook. You want that, you want your thread to start out at the bend of the hook. Um, again, this is the easiest way that I've found to do it so you're not worrying about anything. And there's four major colors that we typically use on our semi-seals. Uh, we have the dark olive Arizona semi-seal. We have the peacock semi-seal, black and red semi-seal, and then the black and blue semi-seal. Those are the three colors that we mainly fish with. Um, you can go with different colors. Um, John Romer and Arizona Semi Seal, they make 50 different colors as of, you know, when these were printed. They probably have more now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start out with some dark olive because that's Kimberly's favorite uh, color to fish with. You're just gonna take a pinch of that material, not too much, because um, it gets a little unruly. You're just gonna spread it out a little bit. We're gonna bring our thread down and we're just gonna, you don't have to, you don't have to use a dubbing tool for this or anything. You're just gonna kind of wrap it around, just squeezing it with your fingers around the thread. So we got that on there. Now we're just gonna wrap forward with it. Now here's the, the tricky part. A lot of times this thread or this stuff will start to unwrap. So just go back while you're wrapping and wrap it again. Um, you want kind of a good base built up in there uh, just so you have enough material because at the end we're going to take our Velcro and we're going to puff this up so it gives you that leech look. You don't want it too heavy though, you want it kind of thin on there. So we're just going to do that again. Typically with these smaller flies I just have to do it twice. We're just going to wrap forward again, come all the way to the base of that bead and I'm not gonna do it on these because you know a lot of times these will get destroyed by bluegill or bass or whatever. Trout teeth, anything will destroy these flies. Um, but a lot of times I'll put glue on the thread so that way it's gonna stay in place. All right, and then we're gonna take that wire that we tied in and we're gonna wrap the opposite way of the way we wrapped up the shank of that, that hook all the way to the top. 
Sometimes you have to pull your material back so it goes underneath. And then once you get to the top, I usually give it one more wrap. And then I'll wrap it with the thread on both sides. Make sure to lock that, that wire into there. All right, go in with your scissors. Cut that extra off. What I like to do is I like to tuck in that copper wiring so then when I do my my half hitches at the end, it's underneath that wire. And I don't gotta worry about it coming up, coming untied. All right, so now we got that done. Just come down here, make, it, make a half hitch. So to make a half hitch, you're gonna pull a little bit of string out, you're gonna wrap the thread around your finger, turn it sideways, bring it back down over itself. So it's just a little little half inch. Just wrap a circle around your finger, put your thumbnail on there, and then pull it tight. I, probably, I like to do five to six of these, um, just so the fly's a little bit more sturdy. Come up here, trim it off. Now this is the most important part, so that's our semi-sealed leech. Quick and easy, that quick to tie. So what I'll do is I'll come up here with the Velcro, and I just took a piece of Velcro, this is off of an old Uncle Mike's holster for your gun. I just come up here, take the material, spread it out a little bit. Just pick it out. And this is, if you have too much material, you can actually take some off right here, so you don't have to worry about it. You just take that off right there, and then boom. Done. Semi-seal leech, all tied up, ready to get out there and fish with it. This fly is super easy, super simple to tie. Um, you don't gotta worry about it. You can tie up a couple dozen at a time. You know, get out on the water. This fly will normally catch almost anything that swims. Um, from, like I said, bluegill, carp, bass, tilapia. The list is so long it's hard. So having these flies in there, different colors, different material, or different colors, different sizes in your box, will take care of all your leech needs out on the water. All right, since these are so quick and easy to tie, we're gonna go over it again, just in case I missed anything on the first one. So, we're gonna get our thread wrap on there. We're gonna get our copper wire tied in, just like this. All right, and we're gonna take a pinch of our semi-seal. Like I said, I tie these quick and fast. Um, you can take your time. You can add a tail to them. Um, when I first started tying flies, that's what, especially semi-seals, I would always add a tail. Just a little bit more material on the back end. Uh, I've learned since then that you don't really need it. It doesn't really make that big of a difference. Uh, and if you make your tail too long, a lot of those little fish will short strike it. And then you you know, you know won't hook the, as many fish. Again, we just use two clumps, quick, fast, and easy. Don't make it too thick. A lot of times, like the hardest thing in fly tying is getting your proportions correct. Um, so when you first start tying, a lot of people will tie flies uh, too long of tails, too much material, too little material. I found with these just two small clumps, two pinches is the best way to do it. So we go all the way to the front, lay our material back, wrap the opposite way with our copper wire. Do one wrap. Come up here, go both sides of that copper wire there, so you make sure you lock it in place. Cut off your excess. Half hitches here. Make sure you get your half hitches behind the bead. You don't want them in front of the bead because that's what's going to keep that bead from sliding down. That's why a lot of times I'll glue that thread onto the hook before I, I put any material on there so that way I don't have that issue of that bead and the weight of the bead forcing that to slide down. I'm just going to tease this up a little bit. There we go. 
semi seal leech number two. Like I said, these flies should take you, you know, honestly, 30 seconds to a minute on each fly, and you can tie up a dozen of them in 15 minutes and be out on the water. Quick, easy, I'm gonna sit here and tie a few more. Again, thank you everybody for watching the videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. If you haven't yet, if you haven't told your family yet, please let everybody know about our channel. I'm really close to hitting that 300 mark. I apologize we haven't been out on the water. Tried to go out on Sunday, just, or Saturday. No, it was Friday. Tried to go out on Friday, didn't work out. Uh, Dad actually caught some fish finally, so that's that's a big bonus, but I didn't catch anything. Um, hopefully I'll be able, to be able to get out this week. Thank you again everybody for watching. You guys are awesome. Have a great day. Thank you.